Today, I'm going to be doing a build that has been requested on this channel for a very, very long time. And that build is a Bloodhound Knight build. For this build, it's pretty basic. You will need the Bloodhound's Fang, as well as the Bloodhound Claws. I went with quality because since the sword is an enchanted weapon technically, and we can't change the affinity on it, we kind of need quality stats to go with it. So yeah, quality Bloodhound Claws, and of course with Bloodhound Step, but don't worry, I'm not going to be spamming it or anything like that. And then for the drip, of course, we have the Bloodhound Knight set. And for those of you who want the talismans and the stats, both of those will be on screen now. Now let's go finesse on some people. Get it? Because uh, the weapon... Hello, squid. Okay, I'm kind of unfamiliar with... Uh... Ooh, okay. Nice little 875. Hey. The hell, dude. Oh, no. Please, no. Not the dragon heads. Oh, that is not a good trade at all. Hmm. All right, well, screw it. Oh, nice. That was a good bait by him. Ooh! Yo, the range on that! Hey, good, hey, good fight, Squid. You thought you had me. So for all you guys who don't know, though, the weapon art that I was hitting him with was Bloodhound's Finesse. It only comes on the Bloodhound's Fang, and this is what it looks like. And then if you hold heavy, you get that second attack. It's a very, very good punish tool. You get some evasion with it. And as you saw there, it does very, very good damage. Dark, hello. I fought you last video. I don't remember what you used. I think you like switch between weapons. Oh, nice. Oh, I did not realize I was going to be stunned out of that. Whoa, dude. That is like a very underwhelming, like, Ash of War visually. It's like this massive buildup for such a dinky attack. Ooh, Endure? That's smart. <laughs> Dang, he could just stagger me with one short sword. Oh, no way! Do we do it to him? I think we do it to him. <laughs> oh, another tie. Good fight, Dark. That was a good read by them, too. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. There's half the HP gone. Well, good fight, Londo. I know I haven't really used the claws much, but honestly, the sword is just so good. I just have not been uh, really that tempted to use them. Oh, oops. All right. Wow. God, do the range on that. All right. Let's pull this bad boy out. Good fight, mage. Toolbox. Hey. Hello. This has me thinking that you have a lot of weapons to hot swap to, and I'm kind of worried. Dang, a lot of people are using quick step on uh, halberds. It must just be that good. Huh. Might have to try out. Oh, what did I say? I had this feeling. I really, really did. 
Okay, they got they got Horlu's Earthshaker. Okay, now I know. Oh man. <laughs> no, please don't. Please don't cleave. Okay, Storm Stomp. Nice. Okay, now, now they got the Epi. Nice roll catch. What's this? Nagakiba? Unsheath? Okay. Alright, this is the thing. I can't play scared against people who use all this stuff. Because whenever you give them time to switch their weapons, you're kind of playing their game. Let's go, baby. My initial reaction was like, oh, this is another tie. But look at that. That's what having 60 vigor can get you. Hello, Femboy Prince. You're just like me. That's my self-proclaimed title. Did I say that out loud? So we can just tank this. Okay. Noted. Hold on here. Let's whip out the claws for a fight. I'm not gonna really use um Bloodhound step at all. Oh no. Ah! Femboy Prince! What the hell, man? Oh, nice back step. Oh no, the catch flame to the face. Good fight, Femboy Prince. Was that name what I think it was? Knife crime in it. <laughs> I love doing that to people who use this weapon art. I think ever since my Melania build, I have always nailed that. Whoa. Good fight, knife crime in it. Hello, trap snip. Hey. You no, know, it's rude to point fingers like that. Okay, so they're very reactive, it seems. But I know what to do. Oh, well, okay, that had that combo has no lag at the end of it. Okay, I understand. I see. Oh, the roll catch. I'm not going to be able to, like, take another hit and live. But I kind of got to make something happen. Very good fight, Trap Snip. Hey. Noodles. Hey, it looks like you have... Is that Moonvale? Nice. Is he really fishing for that Moonvale hit? Oops. Nice. Honestly, I really do like 360 attacks. I think they'll just throw off your opponents a lot more. Really fishing for that Moonvale. See, that's the thing. If you're using Moonvale, you, you, you really like can't do that. Just fishing for it all the time just does not work. Like, ever. Well. That, okay. I'm just not even going to say anything. <laughs> Good fight, Noodles. Okay, that was going to be the final fight, but then I realized I have barely used the claws. I think something that's held me back from using them a lot is just the fact that the weapon art is Bloodhound Step. Because if it's equipped, I'm going to use it. But then, like, I kind of feel scummy for using it. Okay, not against this. 
Oh my god. Uh, okay. Let's go, dude. Oh no! Good fight. <laughs> <laughs> that's respect they gave me back the furrow calling that's cool the good thing about claws is i'm pretty sure they do damage through shields if i'm not mistaken Just giving me free damage. <laughs> oh, dang, they rolled through the proc. That sucks. You want to get that health debuff. I know you do. Come on, bro. Just do the weapon art. Yes. Oh, it didn't kill, though. That's so sad. Very, very good fight, C. All right, I'm going to go ahead and keep this one short and sweet. This is like a 7.5 out of 10. Bloodhound's Fang, solid damage, solid range, not really much to say there. Then Bloodhound's Finesse, I would recommend using it sparingly, because whenever you do hit it, it does very, very fat damage. However, if you're too obvious with it, you will get punished very, very hard. And always remember that it has two stages, you don't always have to do the second attack. And as I kind of mentioned earlier, the Claws, I wasn't really too keen on using them. Bloodhound Step is simply not fun to use. I will say though, Claws are sort of like Fist Weapons. If you need that finishing hit, or if you want to go for Bleed Proc, because they do have innate bleed, definitely whip them out in the middle of a fight. They're a solid tool to have around. But those are just my thoughts, and I would love to hear yours. So if you want, you can go ahead, comment your thoughts down below. And the subscribe button is down there somewhere if you want to become a fellow monk. You can also go ahead and ring the bell if you want channel updates. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next one.